Well, the countdown to spring is on. Remember, this time last week, we were bracing for that two-day brutal cold that came through. By the end of this week, we may be talking about breaking some record high temperatures. So big swings happening in the month of February, but we still have a month and change to go until spring officially gets here. But we're definitely seeing signs already, not just the abnormally warm winter that we've had so far, kind of unrelated, but that higher sun angle this time of year starts to make a difference. Now, we bottom out on the winter solstice with a sun angle of only only 24 degrees, but the sun is now getting a little bit higher in the sky up to 33 degrees, which is where we are around November 2nd. And then, of course, we max out on the summer solstice with a sun height of about 71 degrees. The higher up it goes, the more it impacts the temperature forecast for the day. It's still not doing a ton for us right now, but I think it still makes a pretty solid difference. Our sunset time is also getting a little bit later. Today, we're down to about 4, uh, 514 p.m. By February 21st, we're at 530, and then it's not far away, folks, but we spread Bring forward on March 12th, and the sunset time is almost down to 7 p.m. High temperatures across the country today, chilly across the Intermountain West, Northern Plains, and quite warm across the southeastern U.S. Tomorrow's temperatures a little bit cooler for New England, still very warm in the southeast, uh, and then maybe a little bit colder throughout the Northern Plains. Still a lack of that you know, significant Arctic air. We were the really only spot across New England last week that had it, and it's gone now. We've got nothing but warmth coming up in the next seven days. Temperatures Friday, low 50s. The record to beat is 51, so we'll get awfully close. We're back closer to normal for the weekend, but still above it, which this time of year, the average for Springfield's 36. Early next week, we're going to hover close to 50 almost all week long, with some mid-50s possible toward the end of the week. Now, the 8 to 14 day temperature trend is starting to back off a little bit. So there are some hints that maybe right at the end of February we might get hit with some cooler air. But overall, the next one to two weeks are still trending pretty mild. And we're also slightly leaning in a wetter than normal direction, but that's definitely not a lock at this point. Satellite loop radar showing our next storm system coming in from the south and west. It's going to approach tomorrow. We'll have a lighter breeze heading into our Thursday morning. Temperatures uh, will start off in the upper 20s and we'll have a lot of cloud cover. Breezes stay light throughout the day coming in out of the south and a warm front will cross by the late morning, possibly a stray rain or snow shower there. Then we head into the afternoon, more scattered rain showers on tap that'll continue out through Thursday night, and those should taper off well before sunrise Friday. We're looking breezy on Friday with some decent sunshine and again mild. Saturday and Sunday, looking like it's going to stay dry, seasonable. More clouds for Sunday and a low risk for some showers Sunday night. We're back to dry conditions early next week, and then it's mild through the end of the week with a few rounds of showers. Back to you guys.